You want to support Roller Mark Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Mark Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Danny Pantelo, the cop who killed Eric Garner five years ago, is not going to face any federal civil rights charges. The Department of Justice rule made that decision today. The Civil Rights Division, they wanted him to be prosecuted, but the Eastern District of New York disagreed, and Attorney General William Barr agreed with the Eastern District. This concludes the five-year investigation uh, when it comes to the death of Eric Garner. Barr made the final decision uh, in this case. Of course, uh, again, uh, sad state, the grand jury on Staten Island also declined to indict Pantelo in Garner's death, but the officer was the subject of a departmental trial earlier this year. We're still waiting to hear from the administrative judge as to whether or not uh, she is going to recommend to Police Commissioner James O'Neill, who will decide if Pantaleo keeps his job. Are we shocked? No. No. It's, you know, that's um, kind of... We know that there generally is, when it comes to federal charges, um, especially against police, it's a, it's a rare thing. But, but to have the Civil Rights Division say, yes, go forward. Yeah, but... And then have the Eastern District say, no. Uh, yeah, that, but, That's also... Uh, uh, again, quite interesting there. Yeah, and I think, um, as I've been going back reading, there seems to have been, even when Obama was in office, there was some disagreement on whether or not, you know, some people believed that they should press forward and some people didn't. The overall theme with what I've read is that there was some, uh, most people actually did not believe that they would be able to win the case, you know, not just bring the charges. See, you know what, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Kelly, that, that pisses me off, okay? There's no guarantee you're going to win a trial. Right. Damn it. Uh, sometimes take your ass to court and at least try. Oh, but and that's your job. Man, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like, job. hey, we, we can't get a guaranteed win, so we're not going to do it. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly lazy. I don't understand, you know, from a legal perspective how that's not, you know, misconduct um, on some level when you know that you have uh, something to present to a judge right. that is enough for a trial. Um, and frankly, you don't know what a jury's going to say or do. So you're already hedging your bets against yourself before the trial even starts. But the jury in See, this I, case, didn't yeah, the jury? I I, I, this is one area I don't think I, I rarely disagree with Roland. But I, I, I disagree because that goes both ways. Better. What? You know, in terms of you know, uh, going out there and stretching yourself, trying to get convictions against people when you really don't have a mountain of evidence. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that that's the case here. But it's, wait a minute. But wait a minute. Hold but, up. But if you that happens every day, there literally are folks. And that's problematic. If you if no, you, if you don't have the evidence to convict somebody. No, 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 no. Let's be real clear. Let's be real clear. First of all, the standard in a criminal child trial is beyond a reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt. Right. Federal civil rights charges and civil are right. different. Yes. Right. It's not the same legal standard. Preponderance of evidence. Preponderance of evidence. Precisely. It's lower. I, all I'm saying is, I don't understand this idea, well, we can't guarantee a victory, so we're not going to try. That, to me, is dumb. Not, well, so, okay, are you, if you're using the word guarantee, then yes. That's I, literally I what... There's, okay. That, that's literally, there's never a guaranteed victory. No, damn but No, no. You're saying that it's more likely than not if you're really the saying art. that the evidence is not going to necessarily get you a victory. But here's the deal, though. You don't know that. You don't know You that. don't know it until you present it before a jury. And there's also a difference between not... I would rather you try than not try. And there's also a difference. But that, that would number one. That for number one, that would be a waste of resources if you no, think it that you can't win. No, that's the thing. Like if, no. you, if you were like, this that's is not, not a, a winnable of... case. Okay, no, 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 no. That's correct. Civil rights division said proceed. Right. Eastern District said don't proceed. Clearly, a difference of opinion among lawyers. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. I did a, I did the uh, town hall for the CBC about three years ago. She said the same thing. She said, I'm sorry. Can y'all make the effort, right. Kelly, to try? And that's the difference. So there's a difference between not having enough evidence to go to trial. Because there was enough evidence for him to be indicted. You know, there was enough evidence for some step to go forward. So and an indictment indicates that you had enough evidence to go to trial. So, so they're just choosing so not to go to they, trial. For example, 
I know a lot of people that, that have gone, and again, this is a little bit different. I understand, you know, state and federal and all those kinds of things, you know, those, those differences. But there are often times where the state realizes that they can't win in, in, in state trials. They go forward with it, you know, and they just try to get a plea. And it's punitive against people, and it's unfair. You and damn, hold up. You got damn right. Be punitive against this asshole sure, who killed Eric Garner. Sure. But all but I'm, I'm saying, saying is, if you what don't I'm saying have is, the evidence to win. No, that's see, not. Okay, that's how, how do you, you do you know how many cases practices. where they have tried and they thought they had mounds of it? The folks who tried R. Kelly said, yo, we got a videotape showing his ass. Several videos. Having sex, peeing on an underage girl. They. Before, when the jury came back, Sam Adams, his attorney said, Robert, we did the absolute best that we could. That's what he said. Because mm. Sam Adams thought, we are dead. Jury said, not guilty. Mm. Oh, hell. Hell, Kardashian was shocked when the jury said, not guilty for OJ. But guess what? You tried what I'm saying is not even going to trial. You don't even get a chance to even present any evidence. It, to me, this is no different than a DAI. We, we couldn't get a, we couldn't get indictment from the grand jury. Mm -hmm. That was nothing that we can do. I mean, that, the grand jury wouldn't do it. And I, I, I admit ignorance in this area, so I don't know law like that. But, you know, I don't know of how common it is when a jury isn't able to convict that then their federal, like, in who, someone charged for federal um, civil rights violations. I don't know if there is a standard where if they're not convicted um, by a jury, then they, you know, so by a civil the time case it gets to I, 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 I just want you to try. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I, I no, guess so. No, I definitely I, 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 get that. I, I just want my, you to try. Statement. Yeah, and that, I, I mean, here's, here's what I want. What I want, about, what I want is for Eric Garner to have his day in court. No, I, I, what I, I want, agree. What I want is for evidence to, pre, to be presented so the public can see it. I want testimony. I want a jury of his peers to render a decision. What I don't want is for somebody sitting in the room going, ah, oh, well, you know, I don't really see how we can get a guarantee. I think it was a little more than that. I, I was reading that they actually did consider the evidence, and I think the chokehold, um, watching the video at that time. So they, there was other things that they considered other than. Right. But it feels like even with all of that. I mean, I, that, I'm with you in heart. I right. Mean, I'm, no, I'm but even with that because knowledge, it still sounds like. You're trying the case within yourself and not presenting it to a court. And, and Kelly, CB, CBC members who I've talked to over the years have said they they want to see DOJ get some damn heart and try. And it's like, because here's the, here's the real deal. 97% is the conviction rate right. for federal prosecutors. Mm -hmm. 97%. Do you know why? Because really what they do is they say, okay, we've got all this sort of stuff. We're going to force you to plead guilty. Let me remind you, the cop who killed Walter Scott, mm -hmm. took a plea deal mm -hmm. over the federal civil rights charges. Mm -hmm. Let me roll it back. It was a hung jury when it came to the state. But when it came to the federal civil rights trial, he went, they might send my ass to prison. Mm -hmm. Right. He took a plea deal. All I'm saying is, when you say, ah, we're not going to move forward, that cop choked Eric Garner. No, there's choked no about hold. it. And, and they didn't indict in Staten Island, at least attempt to have a dead gum uh, jury trial. But uh, that's the case there, folks. Tomorrow we're going to talk to uh, the mother of Eric Garner. Tomorrow's the fifth anniversary of Eric Garner's murder. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one um, moment. Let's talk about, uh, of course, my folks at uh, 420 Real Estate. Of course, they're back. MarijuanaStock.org has another uh, great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough the last time to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a ton of money in just a few months uh, investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company. And last time, again, a lot of people missed it. They were sending emails saying, hey, I want to get in. Now they have a new investment opportunity and you can check out, folks. I'm talking about industrial hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is the cousin to marijuana with a much higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the United States and heavily regulated by the DEA. 
However, the 2018 Farm Bill uh, that was passed makes it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow in all of the plants. This makes for an incredible investment opportunity. And that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is real simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high paying tenants. That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords and you can get in on the action. You can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks up to $10,000. All you gotta do is go to marijuanastock.org, that's marijuanastock.org to get in the game and get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.